Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Rahana. We're playing more Gakko in Heaven 2 today. We're continuing exactly from where we left off last time, where Takato gave his information about why he feels obligated to help his mother because of the the lie, basically, that he and his grandparents um, kind of supported. He, he said, you know, he didn't really go around distributing this information, but he pretended that they were his parents because it would have caused trouble for them. Um with his mother's situation. So now he feels like in order to atone for that, he needs to go and be part of his mother's project. And he also finds it a worthwhile project. So, you know, coming at it from two angles, I can kind of relieve this guilt that I have about pretending that my grandparents are my parents and ignoring my mother. And also, this is a worthwhile project. I want to be part of it. So his last line here, and I'll repeat it. This is so, I think I should help my mother now. So he's come to this conclusion. And of course, Yuki is not in support of this conclusion. He does not want him to go. Why? Why is he talking so coldly about himself? It's just like Takato-san doesn't care about his own feelings. Even though it's about himself. Even though it's about his own future. He's just saying things about what he should do and reasons. I understand the situation, but... But helping in order to atone is wrong. It's wrong for you to sacrifice yourself for a reason like that. It's one thing if you want to do it, but if not, you shouldn't go. Please don't go. It's not that I don't want to do it. That project, even I think it's wonderful. And this poor kid just like grasping at anything, please. But you have your novel. That's right, what's going to happen to your novel? The continuation of Zombie-chan. I can write a novel anywhere. Takato-san. Oh, he's already decided. Takato-san's going to go. He's going to leave everything and go with his mother. To a place where I can't reach him. That's what he's decided. So he doesn't feel like telling me his real feelings anymore. That's what this is. He's already... No, I won't cry. I can't cry. If that's what he's decided, I have to smile. I have to see him off with a smile. I have to tell him good luck. Takusha-san has worked hard for the sake of the school until now. In the student council work, in the Bell One... He's always helped me, helped all of us. So this time, I, I need to support Takato-san. And if helping his mother releases Takato-san from his guilt, then that's good. That's what's good for him. If that makes him feel better, if that eases his pain, then... <laughs> yeah, your pep talk's not working, Yuki. It's nothing. I'm fine. I'm just surprised, of course, but... I'm sure you'll... Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. If you love Takato-san, don't cry. Breathe. At least keep your voice calm. But... I love this scene. It, it, it's really, it's just so unfair that Takato's root has like all the best parts and all the best CGs and all the best everything because here's this another gorgeous, gorgeous scene. I, I love this scene. I love the emotion in this scene. I love the, the art for this scene. This is great. But I... I 
I don't want to be separated from you. I should go. I know I should go. I know that's what's correct. But I don't want to go. Asahina, if I leave the school, you'll be lonely. But I know you. I'm sure you'll make new friends and have new relationships. And someday you'll forget about me. I'd never do that. The memories of our time together will fade and grow distant. That would never happen. That's how people are. You're no exception. What are you saying? Someone charming like you will definitely attract someone. And you won't be able to reject the person who comes to your side. I can't endure that. I don't want that. I love you. Only you. The one I can be honest with like this. The one I can feel secure with. I only want you. I don't want to be separated from you. I love you. Me too. Me too. So after all that, you know, very brave face that Takuto put on explaining all the reasons, almost like he was trying to convince himself not just explain to Yuki why he has these feelings and why it would be right for him to go, but it's like he's just trying so desperately to convince himself that he needs to do this thing that he sees as the right thing. And forget it. Yuki shows up and he's just a mess. And that is beautiful. Also, the background music is driving me crazy. I don't want us to be separated. Of course not. I want to be with you too. I don't want us to be separated or anything. I thought I had to see him off properly. I thought if it's what Takato-san decided, I just had to stand it. But... I love you too, Takato-san. I don't want us to be separated. If you're not sure, please don't go. Don't endure it alone like this. No one is forcing you. If you don't want to, then you should say you don't want to. So... But I'm sure I'll regret it if I don't go. The knowledge that I didn't do what I thought I should will crush me. Even though I should choose you because I love you and I want to be with you. きっと私は私の弱さはどこかであなたのせいだと責めてしまう。I'm sure I'll somehow end up blaming you in my weakness. I would end up somehow thinking that I betrayed my mother's expectations because of you. I don't want to do that. I want to treasure you. But still, I'm sure. 
So, Asahina. I have a request. Won't you come with me? So, there's an interesting solution to the problem that no one has considered yet. Won't you throw everything away and choose only me? Me go with you? That's right. This school that you earnestly protected. The friends you made here and the people around you. I want you to throw it all away and come with me. If you choose me, I'll protect you. Our whole lives, from everything. With everything I have. Wait a minute, that's... I'm being selfish. I know that. I'm might only be hurting you by saying this. I might only be acting like a spoiled child. I know just how much of a selfish, arrogant, and one sided request this is. I know it. Still, I want you. Asahina. Anataka. Asahina, I want you. Please. Please come with me. And stay by my side from now on. Me go to India? Quit school and go to Takata san? If I did, we wouldn't be separated. We could always be together. But me going with him? That's... That's... Yeah, that's... Well then, that was unexpected, huh? That's a very interesting solution to, to the problem that, you know... First time I played through this, I was like, wow, I never even considered that as a potential solution to this problem. Because it just seems, it's, it's presented as really a choice, which, which only has two solutions. Takusho goes, or he doesn't go. So, okay. But, you know, you don't think of the solution of Takusho goes and Yuki goes with him. So, a very interesting way of looking at that. And that actually does not end this day. There is one more little scene in this day that kind of uh, plays off of this one. And I'm not going to say anything about it because I don't want to spoil it. But yeah, I just I just love this particular scene where he's where Takashi's leaning on Yuki like that and just like the desperation in his voice is just so good. It's really good. This is this is a great scene. I really enjoyed playing through this and um this is the last route we ever played and then playing through the game again working on the translation it again was the last route we played and just a huge amount of time had passed between playing it the first time playing it the second time so i didn't remember anything i have a terrible memory which is um kind of a pain but it's great for me because i can replay video games and things like that and be like wow that was so cool or like reread a book where most people are like i can't read a book twice i can read a book you know, just give me a couple of years between the first and second reading and I, like I don't remember anything like I'll have a, impressions of things that happened and, like this is this was the beginning and this was the end but all the stuff in the middle is kind of like I get to discover it all again and that's fun so that's kind of how I felt when I was playing through uh talk shows route again and we were like oh my god this is this is like the most romantic stuff so it's it's really great so now we have, you know, a different conflict kind of coming in here. Instead of, is Takuto going to stay or is he going to go? What is Yuki going to decide about Takuto's proposal here? And I wonder if this is, uh, if this was something he was thinking about ahead of time or if it was just some sort of, you know, impulsive thing that he's asking Yuki just in the heat of the moment where he's like, I can't stand the idea. Like, yeah, I'll go. 
and you'll be sad, but you'll eventually forget about me and somebody else will be interested in you because that's just the kind of person you are. And you'll want to be with them because, you know, Yuki is also a person who has feelings for others and those feelings could eventually become love for someone else. It's just good. Anyway, I'm going to stop here. We have one more scene to finish out this day, um, and we'll we'll continue with that next time. So we'll finally make it through June 20th, and, you know, all the conflict just kind of exploded out of nowhere. And then from here, we'll get a pretty quick resolution, not in terms of how long the route is, but in terms of how many days it takes to, to kind of finish this up. It's, it really goes quick. Nice, nice, tightly written route. So... Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that really romantic scene, and I'll see you next time with the uh, the final bit of June 20th. Uh, see you then.